chasing a road to glory driven since i was a child if you want to think bad enough to go out and fight for it work day and night for it hey there everybody hope you're doing great i uh, had a good good morning um started off uh, dropped the boys off at school so i had a little bit of a later start today because uh, i had a later later evening last night and then um was able to go to the chiropractor have a little bit of a uh, pain on the bottom of my foot um so he's working it out with with a tool um really enjoy these chiropractors they actually have a price list of what 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 i what should i expect to pay and then i'll take those receipts that i get and then i'll submit it for my fsa and get the get reimbursed uh for that so uh appreciate that um that assistance and then um i'm gonna be let's see <clears throat> Then after that, oh, prior to that, I was on a conference call. We talk about, um, as a team, um, we call it the two-minute drill, where each of us goes around um, and just talk about the previous week. What do we do to get in front of new people? Um, and it's, we call it warm sourcing, you know, getting referrals. Um, and so it was, uh, just got this from the dry cleaner, so I got this tag on it. So we just talk about what's been going on. The nice thing is starting to see some really good momentum happening when it comes to um, college campus recruiting. A lot of a lot of students are remembering who we are. Um, you know, are are making us one of their make sure that they come talk with us when we're there at the at the career fair. So that's really powerful to be able to start having some more movement on the I think ten thousand students that are in the Bauer Business School. And so for us, um, we're looking for a needle and a pile of needles. Um, and so um, we, we describe to them what we're looking for. And the, the thing about it is that we are the, the face of the organization, right? We, we are the ones that they think, um, you know, if they kind of like our personalities, that's what they kind of envision the organization to be like. And so you want to be able to make sure that we can put our best foot forward. <clears throat> so that's really nice. Um, and then because that, that came off the golf outing, that we had, and then so we had the career uh, career fair, and <clears throat> so that was powerful. Can come here to the office. Got to input all this, um, all these college uh, contacts into Salesforce, and then after that, uh, headed to the the lunch um, orientation for the Houston West Chamber of Commerce. So uh, looking forward to that, and um, hope you're all doing well. Terms out. Hey there, everybody. When it comes to motivation, sometimes people, we get discouraged, we get demotivated because the anxiety or stress that we're under is too overwhelming. There needs to be a healthy level of stress, right? And anxiety that causes us to get up early to be able to go make that run, to be able to, if you're in the sales and development marketing side, to ask for the business. But one of the big things for a lot of people is that they're under so much stress, it causes them physically pain, they might vomit, they might have you know, nightmares, they can't, they can't fall asleep. This is, these are all physical things that are happening that's telling us we're under too much stress. For a lot of people, saying no to different things in their lives, whether it's volunteer opportunities, they need to say no to be able to have less and be able to manage what's going on in their lives and not feeling so overwhelmed. So if you find yourself not feeling very motivated, have a look if, to see if you have too much on your plate and start making sure you can get out of that rut. Terms out. Hey there, everybody. Um, Motivational Wednesday. Sometimes people are demotivated when they have too many things going on. The struggle is, is that the anxiety and stress that they're under is so overwhelming, it's causing them physical um, complications, not enough sleep, they might be struggling with um, maybe even physically feeling sick, and in reality, what's actually going on is that they're under too much pressure, too much stress, and they need to say no to certain things. And by being able to say no, they're then able to do the things that are really gonna be motivating to them, and that's gonna be able to help them get to where they wanna go. Instead of feeling like they have to do certain things, I find for a lot of people, it becomes extremely powerful when they're able to take time to de-stress, declutter, and stay motivated on what's really important to them. Shrimp's out. Motivational Wednesday. Sometimes what demotivates us is that we're handling too many things. It could be the struggle that we have from taking on too much at one time. And so the most powerful word that we can use at that particular moment is the word no. And say, so you know what? 
I cannot take on any more things because of what I'm going through right now. Or, and the way to be able to recognize that is that you might physically be feeling symptoms um, of overstressed, over anxious over certain circumstances. And so it becomes very powerful to be able to say no and to be able to understand that there's a time and a season. So sometimes we might need to be able to pull things back in order to hand things of what we're going through right now. I find sometimes people will find a lot of value in meditation and pondering and exercising and being able to go out with friends and talking it over with a professional. Understand that each of us have different ways that we handle stress and we want to find those healthy outlets. Sherm's out.